Well, it's been 60 days since we hired Grant. Is he doing a good job or do we gotta fire him? If you guys don't remember, I started this business in the year 2000. Two years later, I went into F&I Manager and then in 2008, I moved to Southern Indiana to work for a Chevy dealership, uh, not the one that I left, to become a general sales manager. And so I've got a lot of experience managing. 2010, I went back to being sales because I didn't want to just deal with people anymore. I didn't want to deal with with employees and all that stuff. So, uh, and now fast forward to 2022, here I am owning my own dealership and we've hired our very first employee. Something I've always done in the past is I've always evaluated the decision at 60 days. Is it doing good? Do I need to go longer? Do I need to think about it? Do I need to stop it and move on a different direction? So now that Grant's been here for 60 days, I've got to evaluate them. So basically when I'm evaluating Grant, I've got to look at four different areas. Goals that we had in mind to hire someone, the value he brings to the company, his customer service skills, and most importantly, the number one thing that will make and break an employee of ever in our company history is his ethics. So I'm gonna go over those four things and then I'm gonna give Grant a grade at the end. So the very first thing that we gotta look at is the value that Grant brings to the table. When he interviewed with us, he brought a lot to the table. So we had extremely high expectations of him, just as I would have high expectations of any of my employees or vendors or anybody who's doing business for us. So first and foremost, he brought to the table of 20 plus years of experience, just like me. He also brought to the table of past ownership of a dealership. And then also he brought to the table of the ability to buy cars because that's what he did for his dealership. Those three things alone are absolutely amazing qualities that I love in Grant that he brought to the table. So um, a couple things that I really uh, like about that is he has actually taken us out of the comfort zone of looking at different auction houses out there to evaluate and buy cars, which we've done. However, we've got a lot of room to grow and his first 60 days is probably not the optimal of what I wanna see, but we'll talk about that here in a second. So the next one I'm gonna evaluate him on is the customer service skills. So uh, obviously having your own dealership and your name on the building and you're signing the front of the checks, I would have to think that your customer service skills were to the moon and back because you are the face of the company. So one of the things that I did after I interviewed Grant is I actually went to his former company his, that he owned and I looked at Google reviews, I looked at Better Business Reviews and I looked at some other areas as well. Called a couple auctions, hey, do you know this guy? Oh yeah, we know this guy, stuff like that. So um, Grant's customer service skills is absolutely through the roof. He does an amazing job. And even though that I saw the negative reviews on his previous company's uh, Google My Business rating, um, I, I literally asked him about those and brought them up. And it's exactly the answer that I already knew. You guys gotta remember that I've got 23 plus years of experience in this business. I'm not perfect, Grant's not perfect, nobody in this business is perfect. For gosh sakes, if we got a negative review for everything that happened on here, we would never have any positive reviews. But overall, what I'm looking for is when you have an issue of how you're gonna handle it, how you're gonna recover it, and how you're going to make sure that the customer is taken care of first and foremost. The great news is, is Grant does a fantastic job and I cannot expect him within 60 days to have what I wanna do. Uh, so he comes to me a lot of times when there's uh, a problem or a concern or a customer brings something up. So I see that those customer service skills that he's already got that he does an amazing job on is only gonna do better down the road. The next one is a huge one, it's goals. When I looked at hiring Grant, our number one goal was to increase sales. So what does he bring to the table? How is he gonna increase our sales? And you know, this is why it's really important to have outside influences in your company because uh, I mentioned this in the video where Grant bought himself a car, but uh, Grant, when you have other people inside your business, they influence your business. So Grant actually bought this car from his neighbor and uh, now we've had the success of selling it to one of my followers. And I would have never had this opportunity if it wasn't for Grant. So this is going to Todd up in Pittsburgh, which I've, I've got to say, I apologize. I didn't tell you this at the time of sale. I'm not a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. My friend John Malecki, who's also got a big YouTube channel, was a lineman for the Steelers. And I rooted against him all the time. Uh, but we're great friends. But uh, sorry, go Colts. But. Todd, congratulations on the Infinity. I hope you enjoy it. This is a really sweet car and uh, very fortunate for 
Grant to be able to find this so that I can help you out. But even with Grant bringing uh, those couple customers to the table, his trade-in, stuff like that, he's not there yet, right? But again, I don't expect someone in 60 days to be up and running full steam ahead. There's a lot of learning curve to do in this business. Even when you've been in the business a long time, you do it. Now, when I went to Bachman Chevrolet after leaving my management job, uh, Third month in, I was salesman of the month. Should have been salesman of the month the second month in, but I got slighted and some drama there. But third month in, I got salesman of the month because I had a lot to go. I was the only one working for my family and we needed money. So I don't expect that out of everybody. That's high expectations I hold for myself, but not for others because after all, the person who signs the front of the check is the one that's gonna be the most motivated to do the best for the company. But I think Grant is going to improve our sales because they're not improved yet. But again, he's gaining his feet, he's setting his foundation, he's getting things figured out. And I think the next time that we do an evaluation with Grant, which is gonna be somewhere right around the six to nine month range, I think we'll have a different conversation that our sales are gonna be way up. Because also our issue that we have right now is buying cars. And we're really picky on buying cars. And we rely on buying from auction, but we also rely on buying from you. And a lot of the cars that we get people interested in are 22s and 21s, and that's cars that we're not buying. We're typically buying from 2018 and back, and usually within 500 miles of Southern Indiana, Louisville, Kentucky. People calling us from Wisconsin, people calling us from Michigan and Florida and California, those typically just don't work out for us because shipping gets too high. Now, obviously, if we can buy two or three out of Florida at one time, that makes an easy trip up because those East Coast trips are much easier. But that's one improvement that we have to work on as a team. That's not something on Grant, but that's something on all of us is to work on buying more cars. So the biggest one, ethics. This is where I have almost zero tolerance and I would fire somebody in a heartbeat if they did something unethical inside my company. And we put Grant to the test on this. And we went to Los Angeles recently and Grant had to run this company for five days on Tuesday through Saturday. And I've set this company up so that I can run it from afar. I can literally print to my printer from my MacBook. Regardless, as long as I got internet connection, I can do it. I literally did it from the airplane. It was really cool to see that notification that I printed from the airplane. So uh, Grant aligns with our ethics here 100%. There is zero issues with Grant on ethics. And I'm really excited that I did find someone that we, he aligns with us as far as taking care of customers, treating people right, and doing the right thing when it comes to selling a car. So now it really comes to where do I grade Grant and his performance in the very first 60 days. So obviously he's nowhere near uh, fired at this point. Uh, and I hope I never have to fire Grant. He does an amazing job, but you have to evaluate every single decision that you make in business and you have to evaluate your people on a regular basis. So that way you can give them a path to do better. Gary V uh, is an amazing guy and he talks about this stuff all of the time. And I would probably put Grant somewhere in the B to B minus range because uh, where he's new here now, he's got a lot of improvement to do, but I think the next time that we talk about this, it's gonna be absolutely amazing on what he can do. And there's a lot of movement from B to B plus, B plus to A minus, you know, there's, there's, you gotta do a lot to move those in my head the way I do things. And a matter of fact, if I gave myself a grade in this situation, I probably wouldn't beat Grant's score. I would probably- I gave you a D 